Hello, I'm Karina Boxlink, your State 4-H Camping Coordinator. Welcome back to our outdoor cooking series. Today we are going to cook breakfast. We're going to go pretty easy today, but what we're going to do is we're going to do bacon, eggs, biscuits, and gravy. Um, so the gravy I'm using is just a packaged gravy mix. I want to just cook it according to the recipe. I'm going to boil my water in one of these buckets. I've got my mix already mixed up in the other bucket. Once this boils, I'm going to pour it into my mix instead of the mix into the, the other boiling water. That way I'm not creating dishes in two buckets. Um, my biscuits, I'm just going to use canned biscuits. If you have a favorite biscuit recipe you want to use, just go ahead and use that. So this is where those pie pans come in handy, cooking biscuits or other things that you don't want directly on the heat on the Dutch oven. Um, this is a 10 inch and it fits really well down inside this 10 inch Dutch oven. Um, it leaves a gap from the bottom. If you don't have a 10 inch Dutch oven and you still wanna use this method, you can get one of those round um, cake cooling racks and just stick it in the bottom underneath this pie pan. Um, you can also cook them directly in your Dutch oven. You're just really going to have to monitor your heat. So let's go ahead and pop these in here. I've already pre-greased it. And keep in mind all your food safety considerations as well, even though you're cooking outside. I'm just going to set this right inside this Dutch oven. Um, and this Dutch oven is going to create an oven effect when we put heat on the top and bottom. Pop this back on and then we're going to go over here and get my coals ready. Use it because I need coals underneath my Dutch oven and I need coals on top of my Dutch oven. This is where those wrist sized pieces of wood come in really handy because they break and create these coals whereas your bigger pieces tend to just burn and create ash. So I'm going to grab some of these coals. I'm going to set it out here so I can set my Dutch oven on it. And you'll find a lot of recipes that are specific for Dutch oven cooking and they'll tell you a specific number of coals on top and a specific number of coals on bottom. Um, but if you look, it's going to be roughly twice as many coals on top as it is on bottom. And this is where those legs come in um, to help hold your Dutch oven steady without it just resting on top of whatever your coals are, so it'll hopefully not tip over. I'm gonna swirl it around a little bit. I'm gonna reach in here and I'm going to grab some more coals. And even if you're cooking on charcoal, you can kind of use the same, twice as much on top as on bottom, generalization, or you can count out the specific coals. So we're gonna leave that there for a little bit. Here in a little while, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the oven and the lid. That way we can even out our heat. That way if there's any hot spots in those coals, it's not burning one spot in particular. All right, we've got our biscuits cooking, our water heating up, preheated our skillet. We're just gonna start cooking our bacon. Um, and after we get the bacon in, we'll take a look at those biscuits to see how they're doing. So what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna get this cook out of the way. Um, I'm using my lid lifter. I'm grabbing a hold of the lid, and be careful at this point to not just pick up your lid. Grab it and kind of shake it a little bit so those loose ashes don't fall right into your biscuits. Oh, looks like they're getting done. I'm gonna turn the lid. And then I'm gonna turn the Dutch oven. And they're cooking fast. These coals were hot. So I'm going to scoop some of these off. And kind of the trick to cooking with a Dutch oven is keeping an eye on that heat and maintaining or controlling 
um, the temperature inside your Dutch oven. We're gonna let it keep cooking for a little bit. All right, so our water was boiling. I've added it to our gravy mix. It is thickening up nicely in this pot. Um, I'm fixing to slide it away from the heat just a little bit more just so it doesn't get too thick or burn on the bottom. Bacon is still cooking. And in this bucket, what I've done is I've added a paper towel because um, once the bacon is done, I'm going to drop it into this bucket so it'll stay warm. And then I'm going to cook my eggs right in the skillet where I cook my bacon all right. So we're going to check these biscuits again. I think they're probably about done. Shaking off the lid just so I don't get too many ashes. They're a little done on the top. They look good on the bottom. So I'm going to pull this off the heat. So something to be aware of when cooking with cast iron. Once you've got a hot Dutch oven, be careful not to set it on a surface that's really cold or wet and cold because it can shock your Dutch oven and it will crack. So I'm just going to kind of set it to the side here. Um, it will stay warm for quite a while just because that cast iron. All right. Our biscuits are done. Our gravy's done. Our bacon is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all this bacon out. Hopefully I won't drop any. Put it down in this bucket. That'll help get rid of some of that grease um, and also keep it warm while we cook our eggs. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my gloves because the skillet is hot. I'm gonna slide the skillet off of the fire just a little bit so it can cool down some before I dump my eggs in there. I will probably end up draining some of this grease off because I don't want all of it in my eggs. Um, when you're camping, be careful of where you drain that gre grease. You don't want to drain it around your campsite because you'll attract critters. So you can drain it into a container to save for later because it works as a great fire starter. Or you can be careful and just kind of drain it on the edge of your fire and it will cook out. All right, so we're getting ready to cook our eggs. You can cook them however you like. We're going to just scramble them today because that's quick and easy. And if you're a better egg cracker than me, Power so the bacon grease acts as a kind of a non-stick agent, but as your Dutch ovens become more and more seasoned, they will be fairly non-stick. information on outdoor skills, camping and cooking, stay tuned to our 4-H social media channels. Y'all have fun with these campfires.